well, who drove the vehicle? No, we had to get out of jail now. first. We was in jail for 12 days. 12 days? In Tijuana. In Tijuana, Mexico? Tijuana, Mexico. They let y'all get come back to the state? We didn't think we was coming back because they kept telling us we wasn't. So that was a ransom. When you, when you have 19 arrests with no felony convictions on his end, but I start getting convictions, that lets you know that you need to sit back and take a moral inventory of your surroundings and who you have around you. On my end, yeah, let's talk about I'm just end. short of being a habitual. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean you short of being a habitual? What you talking about? Habitual. One more time, I'm out of there. Oh my goodness, in, so what you been doing? State, King of the Road, which is a production vehicle. A King of the Road. That is something like an 18 wheel. Okay. I think that's classified as a bigger vehicle. Okay. Which would be your production vehicle. Okay. We actually went to jail in New Mex in Mexico in that one. What y'all do in Mexico Tijuana. to go to jail? Oh, our driver was crossing the border and went through the wrong lane. Your driver? The cat fight a driver or what y'all do? Immediately. Well, who drove the vehicle? No, we had to get out of jail out. first. We was in jail for 12 days. 12 days? In Tijuana. In Tijuana, Mexico? Tijuana, Mexico. They let y'all get come back to the state? We didn't think we was coming back because they kept telling us we wasn't. So that was a ransom. When Once they it? found out whose vehicle it was. See, Cat wasn't on that particular vehicle. I was, though. So you went to jail? I went to jail with six other people. With Cat Williams' people. Mm -hmm. He got us out of there quick, though. He hired the best attorney in Ensenada. Well, quick ain't, 12 days ain't quick. That's quick for getting out, because you don't get out. Americans don't get out of jail in Tijuana. How'd y'all get way down in Tijuana then? We what y'all doing we down there? We were going to do some filming at the waterfalls. We were there 12 days. I think it took him like $80,000 to get six people out. And he had to pay to get the vehicle back because they wanted to keep that because we had guns on the vehicle. Guns? We had some missiles the size of my arm. I don't know what you do with those. Had levelers and all that on, I don't know, military issues. Now, nah, wait a minute now. You trying to say Cat got all these kind of guns and security. weapons and... Security. It's a security vehicle at the time. A, well, so was security on the vehicle with yes, you? Yes, sir. So they took, the, they took the security. They, we all went. Everybody went to jail. That's why it took 12 days. Mm. We had to verify ownership or right to handle the equipment, the apparatus, if you will. Well, that's probably what happened to the 59 million. He take all getting all six of y'all out of jail. No, that was straight up embezzlement. Okay. Yeah, no, that was proven. That's straight up embezzlement. What he did was in, the production <laughs> vehicle should have gone through the industrial lane. He went through a regular car lane. And so they pulled us over. And what initiated the search was we had to tell them that there were guns because it was a security vehicle. You oh. have to let them know that there are weapons on the Never vehicle. lied to the police. Not even in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So right now to this day, that, that case has been sealed and expunged okay. from the time that we got out. So it would have been where I could have never traveled back to Tijuana, but he hired the best attorneys to get all seven of us out. It was seven of us that went. Seven of you. Mm -hmm. And one of the guys actually had a heart attack while we were there in Tijuana jail. Uh, okay, and what happened? They eventually got him some help. Eventually? Eventually. I think it was like two days where he was having He suffered a heart attack for two days in Tijuana. He, he had the chest pains. This was the driver. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. How is he today? I don't know. I haven't seen him since then. Okay. Once we all got out, a couple of days later, Cat put some money in everybody's pocket. Told everybody to get the hell out of him. Because when it becomes a liability, liability is no fun. So he basically fired everybody. Y'all get the hell out, go home wherever you're from, and got your asses out of jail, and y'all get away from me. <laughs> Something but, like that, but not that fired. Like Kat? Not fired because some guys came back. Like, Cat has, he has the reputation of bringing the same people back to is, work. Is he going to bring you back? I never quit. 
I stood on the business. That's why don't nobody know me. You have to have a trust. Somebody that you can trust. But it ain't the world's, it's not the world's position to know who you trust. Because then you become a target, which I have become a target. And when you say you become a target? I reap everything that Cat deals with, I'm dealing with quietly. I'm, I'm like an alter ego. Well, why is it that... Starting out, the reason I actually left the road and came back to Dallas was mm -hmm. because we went to jail, which is the footage that I, we pulled up. Well, that was the, the video. We were actually at the court going to our court appearance. Okay. And somehow, all of our vehicles get towed out of the parking lot. That's what was going on in that interview, in that and, and we're going to show it. But we're going to show yeah, it. Yeah, we, we, so we'll, we'll, we'll we, were, we were at court going to make our appearance for the tractor incident that I mentioned, about, that I mentioned to you about. Everything has been legal. Everything has been legal with us. It's there. We are on file in somebody's court. <laughs>